Hi guys, my name is Borodante and welcome back to Outlandish Curiosity. So yeah, we're continuing on this page. I'm planning to get at least Gilbert fully rendered in this episode. Also, as you may have noticed, I did some progress from what we finished at in the previous video. Gilbert has much more detail and everything. And, well, the surrounding as well, a little bit improved. So yeah, we just keep going. Kevin said everything's dope, except for Gilbert's face. It looks a bit not like Gilbert, different a little bit from what we had in the previous pages. So I'm gonna open up some of the pages where we had a good look on a normal face of Gilbert, not this kind of face. And hopefully that'll help us with the consistency of Gilbert's head. We can go with the initial concept too. Yeah, that'll help me a lot more probably with all the details for the outfit. The jacket has very specific kind of color. Also gotta pay good attention to the hat, I guess. The hat is always such a problem because it's like it's very easy and quick to paint but wrong and if you want to get it right it's all about just the subtle changes subtle curves and the shape of it this is the specific adventurer hat it has this cool shape and i always like struggle to get it right so it wouldn't look like just a generic hat also i was thinking if we would look at different pages i did the outfit a bit too colorful yellow and it should be a bit more of a dull this adventurer outfit color so let's probably color correct that a little bit Pretty dope selection workflow in Art Studio in the newest versions. You can do all of the straight line plus lasso selections, and using just add mode, you can add as much selections as you want without the need of any hotkeys or switching any modes. And if you want to start over, create a new selection, you just tap once with a pencil and you start over. Oh, and also, if you were doing a complex selection and you released your hand like this and continue, and then you did something wrong, you can undo, and you only undo the little last bit that you did. Really cool. And then you can finish your selection like that. So yeah, most comfortable. Now let's do the color correction, probably with a adjustment layer. Color balance probably would work very well. Yeah, maybe just some magenta. This. This will look pretty good, I think. I think I forgot to apply the adjustment only to the selection, but I'll do that later. Right now, just look at the outfit color. Maybe a bit too red, but something like that. More calm color will probably look pretty good. I'll just apply a mask from the selection, from the... Reveal selection, yeah. Boom. Is it working correctly now? Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's move on with the outfit. I wanna do some justice to this jacket and uh, everything else as well. The concept had a mistake of the female side buttons on the shirts, so I'm fixing that now. Also, apparently I do this a lot, because in a sketch, on top, it's correct, the male side for the buttons, but at the bottom, it's the other way around, which is just epic. So yeah, now everything's correct, I hope. Let's continue with the rendering and details. It's always funny to me how I talk about doing some specific thing before I actually start painting, but then I never do that thing that I was talking about. I don't know if it's noticeable or not. It's probably too fast in the time lapse, so it doesn't really matter. But like, I talked about the jacket and now I'm working on the face. That's probably a pretty good representation of how I work at all. I never actually like specifically work on one detail and I think this is a good habit to have. I always always work on the whole thing. At least right now I work on the whole Gilbert and if I found that areas with the face are missing something, I'm gonna work on that first and then I'll analyze again. There's something else is missing, then I'll work on that and I'll just jump back and forth. I kind of ironed it in my head that I should never stick to one little spot and keep on detailing it because that's a great way to mess up the whole artwork. So yeah, I wanted to adjust my new old brush a little bit.
now, that's some nice hat now. It's been a while I painted it like that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll have to fix something in the nearest previous pages, but yeah, this is what it's supposed to be, I guess. Alright, going pretty smoothly. Couple of things I definitely want to improve right now is the hands and this thing right here. These wrinkles are way over the top and just not natural at all. Not even over the top, they're just wrong. <laughs> so yeah, let's start with the wrinkles since it's a simpler task. Start by removing it and continue by adding the chess order wrinkles. already looking better. Okay, this looks decent enough, I think. There. I think Gilbert needs a bigger nose. That was the main problem, probably. I went with my default nose of my size, as I always do. So yeah, that'll improve the thing. Uh, worked a little bit on the hands. I don't know, they look bad <laughs> for now. But definitely getting closer to something decent. Densophy, right? That's the name of the of this flying seed. I suddenly remembered it. Oh, it's probably because Kevin was saying its name when he was talking about the page progress. So yeah, spring follies give birth to this Densophy thing. Mm, with higher contrast of the shadows added here and there in the most contact areas really brings the picture to life more. Like if I undo these, this is much more dull and objects don't really touch each other. You don't really believe it. But this way, things become much more legit all of a sudden. Hmm. So yeah, I guess that will be it for this episode. Pretty good progress on Gilbert. This is the previous episode stage, not the stage of the beginning of this episode, but still, we pretty much changed everything on the outfit. There's, of course, still more work to do. We need to make sure that this 
baggy thing on his chest looks like a baggy and not just an orange spot but mostly i'll probably finalize this whole page in between the episodes and in the next episode we'll probably just start the next page so things would stay fun so yeah tell me guys what you think about the whole progress i think it's going pretty well really like the way gilbert is turning out with his face and uh, his eyes and his arms looking very nice very nice and i thank you for watching if you did i guess you did if you're here leave a like and subscribe tell a friend don't forget the contact shadows do whatever you want and i will see you in the next one bye